Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. So thank you once again to everyone in the UEC for letting me hang out and record these awesome videos. Oh. All right, the clock has started and Hog is wasting no time getting the men moving. <clears throat> He likes this map. Uh, there's a lot of maneuvering you can do, even as the Union. So the Florida moving over to the Union right. Looks like everybody else is going left. And we'll see what the attackers decide to do. Looks like they're moving to the Confederate left, according to the mini-map. Which is the Union right, and that's where Hogg and the boys are, so it looks like they're going to have to take on the whole damn Union army. All right, we've got a nice covered position here, so we're going to. Uh, you? Uh, you hear me, Hawk? Uh, I see yeah, that I one flag you. going on our 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 side. Uh -huh. Yep, sounds good. He's not concerned. <laughs> I wanted to say that the biggest problem with the tanker shows is that you can't see them until they are on the edge of the forest. Say, so we're here to kill them. Okay, so <coughs> second, flag, second flag is going on the right. Press X. Right. Yeah, it's the whole arms, Confederate army arms, going to the Confederate left, going onto the Union right, so. Hog and the boys going to get the whole army, but yeah, the Union seeing that movement as well, and they're coming this way. Is this Frank? Yeah, we got 52nd New York moving over this way. And flank, Frank already looking to his right flank to make sure that that's clear. Confederates moving up the side of the fence here. This is a uh, pretty uh, normal attack on this map. Yeah, you get the most cover. <coughs> Excuse me. As you approach, and you can get right in close to the point of contention. Silence in the ranks. Gotta love a server with a lot of guys on it. But it can cause some server lag. So Harris knows he's got the whole Union army in front of him. <clears throat> so not able to sneak up on him anyway. And it looks like the Union's playing it aggressive. Frank getting across the road here. And he's going to try to get lined up on them before they can get in formation. You can see 52nd New York able to get the volley off, but the Confederates answering quickly. There's a lot of Confederates here, but we got Union on the move, on the flank. Who do you think that's going to be? Livington, 51st New York, in behind the Confederates. What a beautiful flank this is, and Livington going to put the hiss down on him right now. Second Delaware didn't see him coming. They're facing the other direction. But Toby saw him. He got him turned, but maybe not in time. Flagman goes down. And 51st exchanging fire with the Delaware. The Confederate right starting to crumble. But these Delaware guys don't run away. These crazy Delawares, they'll just stay here all day if they have to. And the 51st getting chewed to pieces here. And 8th Alabama <clears throat> taking on the 52nd and the 8th Florida at the same time. Also getting chewed up, but they got guys going forward here. And we're on the charge. Oh, man. You're charging into a wall of lead, son. And here they come now. And you can see 52nd getting mowed over, but here come the 8th Florida. 8th Florida coming in behind to assist. Confederate strong here. 56 Virginia. Get the officer, get the 
They're just chasing around Slaughter. <laughs> Finally got him. <laughs> yeah, he one Union flag on the ground, but they were able to stop the Confederate assault, although the 2nd Delaware are still here. They were able finally to uh, push off the 51st New York, and they're the last to survive as the Union vacates this side mm -hmm. of the field. So first Confederate attack pushed off. For the most part, still got Delaware here. Yeah, it's so hard to see through all that smoke. Uh, that's a good question. Fix your Okay, so it's your winter's stock. Get over here. Yeah, I was still thinking, oh, okay, okay or guys go to that spot. Yeah, our guys are at the spawn. Okay, they should move fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First independent fire on the tree. Left base, double speak, they go. Oh, they're moving. Okay, uh, yeah, well then, um, do your thing. Sasha, do you want to follow us? <laughs> I will be follow you, alright. Nice. Alright, follow us. <laughs> By the way, oh. like I said, that Alabama Man, some of these ragdolls are awesome. <laughs> <Pull back. laughs> <Break, reload. Pull laughs> <clears throat> Always entertaining. Here, Hog, giving the command. Oh, Aim at their knees. <laughs> are they all going right again? <laughs> They'll need those for promotion. All right, we got guys moving around to the left. That's 51st. Hog and the boys still slugging it out with the second Delaware, but they're moving off. And you see the flagman scooping up that flag. And second Delaware getting out of here. <clears throat> but they were able to do what they... Uh, well, they weren't able to push the point of contention, but they were able to... Get a lot of focus fire on them for a while. Give the Confederates time to regroup. And you can see here we've got 51st New York in the rocks. And the Confederates coming through the corn. Here we go. This is a, the other tactic on this map. This was the one they were actually defending against the first time. Harris going left the first attack. Right on the second. And this one he's going to make it all the way to the fence. He's got all that cover through the corn. So while Toby was holding up the Union Army on the Confederate left, Harris and the boys pushing on the right, and they're coming all the way through here. They're doing it quietly, and they expect to find Union here, but there's not a lot. Just an artillery piece that they keep on backing up. <clears throat> and the 51st New York, but they got their backs turned to them. Don't even know if they have a runner to let them know that half the Confederate Army is on this side of the field. Let's see, they're sending out some scouts. Oh, they got it now. Here comes Frank. Oh, my God. The Emperor moving up on the 8th Alabama. Who's going to be prepared first? Alabama's got their stickers out. And Frank's like, oh, shit, they're right there. Line it up. Double quick march. Double quick. Hold. Hey. You see almost simultaneous volleys. <clears throat> and both teams getting hit hard. You see the Union flag laying on the ground. Picked up now. Fleischer's got it. And more Confederate reinforcements coming in. This is your Delaware. Toby's got his guys all the way back around. You see Oswald there with the gun as well. 18th North Carolina is here also in support. So you got just about the whole Union Army or Confederate Army here, and the Union scrambling at this point. You see the Florida coming around on the flank attack. Hold right face. Far back company, make ready. Are they ready? Take aim on the unit left of the hill, gents. Left of the hill. Aim with their chest. Fire! Ooh, you can see a hole opening up in the middle there. <clears throat> <laughs> there's four standing. Yeah, we nailed them. Good. There's like five of them. So, yeah, only a few of them left now. 
Uh, we lost a charge. We tried to charge him in the rear, but. Um, So here, Livingston saying they tried to charge him in the rear and were repulsed. And the Union on their heels a bit, but they are able to hold the point of contention. And they do have this gun. You see Silver Smurf in there. Utley and everybody else. Yeah, they've got They're above the hill. And nope, Jesse. That's the enemy, isn't it? Two scouts, maybe. Yeah. I'll check they can see him. Silver! What? Wait, well, I need to actually pee. What do you want from me? Uh, I want you to die. I don't think I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to shoot them. Captain Livingston. So we got a couple 51st over here. Okay, that's in company. Neil. Neil, yep. Neil break reload. Break reload and Neil. How did he get shot? Yeah, that's what I was They are in the bush. I have no idea. <laughs> they are in the bush. We can shoot them. Can you rise us. up? Rise up. Right. Take him. Take him. Take him. Two of us. Southwest. Yeah, as you can see, the Confederates also using those hills for cover. <clears throat> and Slaughter on the move. I like this aggressive play. Not a very large unit yet, but new to the UEC, but certainly they are also veterans. And we got a Union flag running this way toward the enemy line for some reason. Well, he's dead. I think Hogg and Fritsch knew it because they were coming out chasing him. There's just nothing to shoot at. Break loads, Neil, come on. Come on. We want to preserve those tickets. Uh, Man, Smurfin and the boys looking for a target. These Confederates not offering a very big one. They've got themselves where they can barely see over that hill. <clears throat> and although this kind of play won't win you the match, it certainly can uh, can do that which is give you the advantage in tickets by uh, simply outshooting your opponent. And you can see the Union is now engaged. But we've also got Union moving over to the Confederate left on the flank here, so we're going to get a little bit of action. They're going to try to dislodge these boys. And who is this? That's Livington on the move today, man. 51st, really aggressive. I love this kind of play. And Livington doing his best to get on the flank of the Confederates here. And Confederates don't see him. A couple guys going down there. And you see how the Union has played it. They've kind of shifted around, moved to their right a bit. We're on point two. They are behind that, that little hill in front of us. Company, rise up. Rise, rise up. up. Take aim, left oblique. Take aim, left oblique. Left oblique. Fire. Kneel and low. Kneel and low. Kneel and low. Man, you just can't hardly see anything from that position where the Florida is. And a little bit of peekaboo by the 56, so Florida sent them running. Yeah, but they got 8th Alabama right here. You can see they're concerned about that artillery piece out there. I would be too. It's a great position for the Confederates, but you can see the 51st still out here on the flank trying to get in behind them. It's exactly what you want to do. Livingston's got his guys in a great position. Fire. 
Left face for the left. Left face. Forward. That's why you press C and move and then press X. Exactly. Because I see a lot of people waiting for their X to do the Buffer right merge. Buffer right. Buffer right. Buffer right. On the right, Buffer on the left. And Union Gunners. Save it for another day. Not sure what they're shooting at. the fucking crowd. And you can see both armies for now just. Yeah, we we charged we charged him earlier, and uh, it died off because there was no one attacking them from the front. Just one unit, right? Now. Yeah. Behind behind that the hill and between the the cornfield and the hill. Well, we cannot engage them, right? Because if we die, yeah. then we lose the left flank. Yeah, we just gotta hold here. And if it's Ada Alabama, then no <laughs> you hear Fritch? Oh, it's not just the Eighth Alabama; it's the whole God, it's the whole damn Confederate Army, and uh, so yeah, the Eighth Florida, aggressive by nature, they want to attack, uh, but they just don't have the men to do it. And right now, if the Union's going to play this kind of spread out defense, they have to do what they're doing, which is just holding that position and allow Livington and the guys to be the flankers. Although they've got quite a distance away from them and the Confederate line here. This would be what you'd call long, long range attacking there. Well, if Smurfin and the guys can get this gun working, they might be able to wake up this uh, and dislodge these Confederates. <clears throat> but I haven't seen evidence of major hits yet. That's a tough position, too. All right, you can see the 52nd moving over again. Oh my god, I'm wrong. That's canister fire, and he just laid down a whole company. Did you see that? Jesus. Well, 2nd Delaware was here. Killed so many people, the flag was actually buried under him, and that got the Confederates moving. Here you go. So the 51st waking up the Confederates, and here they come on the attack. Harris on the right, and oh, poor 8th Florida. They're all alone on the left side. There's nobody here to help them. And they got the whole Confederate army splitting around them right now. We'll listen to the horrible screams of our friends as they get murdered. Jesus Christ. Retreat! You heard the order. Fall back. Retreat. They're getting out of here. The whole Confederate army just pouring in to the artillery piece. Smurfing and the boys dead. Toby getting his revenge. As half his men were coming. rolled over. Collins. But we've got another attack here to come the 52nd with the bayonet, but they're severely weakened. And we got the whole Confederate Army here. This could spell doom for the Union. Because once the Confederates get this spot, it is hard to drive them off of it. Here they come again. 8th Alabama, German Legion still in a large number here. And they slam into the Yankees. Livington and what's left of the 51st not able to put up much of defense here and the Confederates have done it they've captured the artillery piece in the middle of the field and the point of contention is starting to bleed toward them and do it fast you see a bunch of the 56 coming back they were already all the way back to the fence there and the Union close to spawn they're gonna be back here very very quickly and the Confederates know it they've got to get organized if they hope to hold this position. And here we go, 8th Florida <clears throat> on the move. Now that they're opened up, they don't have to protect that left. They want to flank them. Repair it, no free ranks, double only. Here the guys, even though they're right in the middle of battle, they still care what they look like, you know? You fucking what? Oi, bruv, in it, you know, like the fucking line is like fucking nick here. It's Tuesday, in it. That's a double forward. 
You can always charge okay, so we don't have to the ready. Hold. Hold. They're looking at the backs of the Confederates now. Not a lot of hits there. It's tough to fire in this position where you've got uphill, downhill. One second you're firing uphill. One second you're firing downhill. It's really tough to get your aim down. And the boys are struggling a bit. And you can see the Confederates starting to move off. But they're right here at the point of contention. They're just trying to find it, and they've about had it. 1942, and we're about to get a counterattack here. I don't see the Union making a hard push to stop them at this point in the match. And there it is, the counterattack. 11.56 left in the match. And the Union on their heels. These Confederates have been really... Hitting them hard all weekend so far, and the Union now in a really tough spot. But Livington and the 51st going to make the first attempt to dislodge the Confederates. You see even more Confederate reinforcements coming in as we speak here. All right, they're going for it. Got guys going back for the guns right in the face of the Confederates. This is suicide. Smurfing and the guys trying their best. Can they get a shot off? No, they're getting gunned down. Oh, doing it with a pistol. Jesse. <laughs> but he can't load and fire the gun by himself. He's got to get out of there. Well, no one said that they weren't brave. And the Union pouring back on the left. There's Frank. There's Livington. So we got the 51st and the 52nd New York on the left flank. And it's driving the Confederates off. And we got another push on the right. There's got to be your Floridians. Nope, 51st and the Florida. Yep. And they're putting the heat on them. They got them on their flank one more time. Hog, really good at this. And you see the volleys coming in. 8th Alabama in a kill box here. You heard Truslow. He's like, it's time to get out of here. Harris has come back. <clears throat> And the Union doing it, man. They're actually dislodging, dislodging the Confederates from the point of contention. So a great counterattack by the Union. Not real flashy, just coming in a step at a time. Throwing down some volleys, pushing off the Confederates. Making it look easy. Here comes Frank, way out front. They want to give their gunners a chance to get that artillery piece working again. You see the 52nd giving it out and taking it at the same time here. And they are the left flank. I imagine Hogg's going to be whipping around on the flank here any minute now. Ooh, that was, that was nice. Good volley from the 8th Florida there, knocking big holes in the Confederates. They'll learn they have no cover here. And you can see, and that was Slaughter in the 56. They're backing off now. Welcome back to the UEC, boys. And you can see the uh, Union doing a great job. They're about to break this counterattack. And I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it seems to have been so far, although the Confederates still do have eight minutes to attack again. And this is what I expected Hogg to be doing right here, swinging around continuously on the flank putting more and more pressure on the Confederates here. And he's moving them again. He wants to get in behind them. And you heard that. That's the huzzah. Both sides are now engaged. Confederacy has lost their initiative, and the Union have broken the counterattack. So 1918 left in the match. Frank and Hogg both moving to the Union right. And the Confederates have got to be really careful here because they can get swept off that hill if there's a determined uh, push from the backside here. 
And they got to see him moving that way, and they do. You see the Confederates moving off. Alabama German Legion Harris holding against 8th Florida and 52nd New York. So the Alabama German Legion will do it alone if they have to. And you can see in Floridians falling in the rocks. But the right side of the Confederate line trying to push up. Second Delaware, we got Toby here. We got the 56th Virginia. Slaughter and the boys. Oh, well, slaughter anyway. <laughs> Jesus. These guys can shoot a musket. Oh, here they come. Frank pulling back around, swinging it back to the left side now. This should catch the Confederates by surprise. They won't see it coming over that hill until it's too late, although they do have their guns aimed at them. So the Delaware, Toby's watching them run across the field here. But they've turned the other direction. Toby watching his emperor move away. And the 52nd New York. Getting back to the safety of the hill. 1751, no need to give up a lot of tickets yet, right? Then you see the Florida have found some rocks out here. So got a little bit of cover, but they are far away from the enemy, so it'd be hard to hit with any consistency at that distance. And you see the Confederates, uh, excuse me, pouring back into the uh, field here. Harris has got the 8th Alabama coming in mass, so. Yeah, still going. Seven, it's been a uh, we got late start because uh, battalion drill. Uh, but this one's almost over. 17 minutes left in uh, regulation here. And I'm I'm liking the the patience that the Confederates are showing here. Um, not really getting too excited. As long as they don't have that artillery piece knocking down their door, they're pretty pretty good where they are. Uh, but speaking of, you guys are on a body pile. Smurfing and the boys. And you can see the guys backing off. They've already tasted that canister today. Especially second Delaware. They got a they got a direct hit of it. Took out just about their whole unit. <clears throat> so Toby Keen to get his guys into a safe position. Sixteen minutes left to go, no one in a big hurry. Plenty of time. Confederates have had one counterattack in the game so far. So Smurfin and the guys will wait for him to pop up and give them a little something to remember him by. But you see, very smart by the Confederates here, using this hill to their advantage. Last time it was the 51st New York uh, artillery that woke these guys up and forced them into the charge. We'll see if that uh, happens again here. And you see Harris and Toby and Oswald, Slaughter, all Truslow, all the guys up here trying to see where the Union is. And they got there right in time to see a big Union movement to the left, and that's Frank. Frank is on the flank today, man. He has been moving, and I like to see it. Yeah, hard to hit a moving target. They knocked a couple of them down, but they also drew the Confederates this way. And that's Harris and the 8th Alabama coming over to take care of the 52nd New York. That's dangerous. 52nd New York has a good group of men out here today. We'll see if the Alabama are a little bit overconfident. But they've got their bayonets out, and these guys are the stormtroopers of the UEC. Ooh, a massive volley coming in from the 52nd. And they're clearing out. They're going to drop back to cover. Try to prevent the 8th Alabama from taking them out with musket fire. <clears throat> 
see the Alabama still pushing. And more Confederates pouring in. You can see the Union now taking losses. And 8th Alabama's crossed the road here. The whole Confederate Army came this way. <clears throat> and the Union, 52nd New York, has been wiped. But it did take the whole Confederate Army to do it. We've got more reinforcements coming this way. It was a little too late. They're already dead. Hogg in the 8th Florida trying to get over to do something, but they're going to be taking on the whole Confederate Army. They've got to be careful here. Hogg wants them on the fence here. You can see the Confederates a little bit disorganized now, not expecting the Florida to be here. Not, not too many dying, a couple guys going down. Florida's got to be careful. If the Confederates decide to charge them, they're going to get wiped. Here they come. And we got some Union streaming in, too, on the flank. That pulled them away from the Florida. Both sides now taking losses. And 18th North Carolina getting hit by the 51st, and now the 51st withdrawing. But this is putting them right in front of the guns of the 8th Florida. <laughs> Here they go, Fritch. Getting out to get that flag. That's how we got introduced to this man. Flag, yeah? They are yeah. behind the, yeah. yeah. They are on the field on the right, uh, on your right. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. Catch up, catch up, sprint. Hall got, him out, got himself behind the Confederates again. Oh, <laughs> did you see that dude get shot in the back? Oh, my God. So they, they felt like the hay was going to give them some protection, but uh, Florida's on their flank, and Oswald sees it. He's turning around. Oh, and you see it. One shot, one kill for Oswald. This man's a straight-up killer. And they've got the attention of the Alabama German Legion. Nobody wants that. And you can see why. Oh, my God. You see that ragdoll? <laughs> oh, my God. Don't change those, please. They are so much fun to watch. So Florida lost a few men in that... Uh, Interaction there, including our boy Fritch, who uh, is no longer carrying the flag. Or he might be over here for them. Maybe he ran over to the 51st or 52nd. No. But the Union's still in control of the field. 1048 left in the match. And Confederate attacks, although strong, have not been able to push the point of contention other than that first time. But I do love how the Confederates are sticking together. This is how you win these matches and they are just playing as one large unit doing a great job and they've got the union in a in a bad spot but uh union still hanging on tenaciously and florida still on that left you can see the mama farm on fire historically the confederates actually burned that farm uh, they did it to prevent the Union from using it as a sniper position. Happened fairly early in the day. Oh, Fritch still has a flag. So 9.34 left in the match. Will the Confederates wait till the last minute to make a charge? Hard to say. Here is the 51st New York on the right flank. You heard Fritch telling 52nd about it. And just a lot of Confederates here, man. Jeez. Can I get him? No. No. So don't worry about it. So the Confederates trying to figure out what to do. Harris knows what he wants. But they're calling him for a council of war here. They want to. He ain't stopping. 
Up and over. Up and over. Quick time. Oh, look at this poor guy. Don't worry. I'll write your mama, boy. Ooh, deadly fire coming in. And you see the Union coming back this way. That's Frank. And there's your 8th Florida. What are they doing? <clears throat> so the flag going down. And Frank trying to get into the position Hog was in earlier today. See if they can't put a little heat down on these Confederates. But Harris moving straight up into position. Nope. That's Stricker. This is uh, second Delaware. The crazy Delaware is coming straight up. Ooh, taking a hard shot here. Now Harris in the 8th Alabama coming up. And the 18th North Carolina coming with him. 56th. There's your 18th North Carolina. Sweeping around on the left flank. <clears throat> but they're running through the trees and they're running into the 8th Florida. And you can see there are Confederates in the bushes. They got their backs turned to the Florida. They're already gone. Ooh. Still were able to hit a couple of those guys. So Frank and the boys have fallen back. Again, the Union attacking, but they're actually on the defense here. But they're just making sure not to let those uh, Confederates get too comfy. You see the 51st still over here on the right, just having a field day, taking long-range musketry fire into the Confederates. But the Confederates are still pushing. Incredible. I mean, a firm resistance put up by the Union here, and the Confederates just continue to push, push, push. And when you got leaders like Toby and Harris in the front, man, that's what's going to happen. Here he goes, Harris on the move again. Eighth Alabama. Yeah, it's a good fight. You got that right. And Harris, he's got all the way around him. His former commander, Schimmel Finnig, ran all the way around the Union Army in this map. <laughs> oh. And he's just going straight for it now. Look at this. Straight for the point of contention. Five minutes left in the match. And the 8th Alabama German Legion, the stormtroopers of the UEC, coming straight in for the point now. And are they going to have the rest of the Confederates to come with them? Alabama really putting themselves in a deadly position. But the guy's coming in. You hear Toby and the boys. <clears throat> and more Confederates in. This is 56th Virginia. Slaughtering the guys, so the Confederates deciding with four minutes left, they yeah. want this point of contention. Can the Union hold? A lot of pressure. But it is forcing the Union into one position, which actually works against the Confederates here. And they've got 50, uh, 51st on their flank. Great move by Livington here to put his guys in the right spot. The front changed, but he's still holding the right flank. Mm, they decided to leave that position. <clears throat> a little too hot. 
with the 18th North Carolina Rifles going that way. Virginia as well. Right face, fire ready. And the Union slowly dying here. They're doing everything they can to hang on. 334, 333 left in the match. And you see the Union continuously falling. How long can the Confederates keep up this pressure? They're also taking some heat. Yeah, I agree, Tracer. That's why we film them this way. Gives all the people in the game a, a different perspective, so maybe next time they play, they don't get so lost, because I know the first few times I ever played this game, for first person, you don't know where the hell you are half the time. And I always found it so interesting that the commanders knew exactly, like the good ones, they knew exactly where they needed to be and how to react. And we see evidence of that here. Harris, again, moving his men away. Deciding against the frontal assault, he's going to swing around and try to hit him on the flank here. Pretty much leading the whole un uh, Confederate Army, so wherever Harris goes, it looks like everybody else is going to go with him. That's smart. <clears throat> he's definitely turned the flank of the Union. Are they going to be able to turn around and defend this spot? You see uh, the Union flanking the flankers here. Livington, 51st. Getting close here, and they're right up on him with the bayonet and now the confederates have to hold but the 51st do not have enough strength to take them all i don't believe and the rest of the union's not coming this way so the 51st going to smash themselves against the rocks but they'll get a couple tickets for it and it will hold the confederates back on their heels a bit but the union now breaking 153 left in the match if the confederates take the point of contention this time it's going to be over, but it's going to be over in a minute and 46 anyway. And the Union doing a good job holding here. Yeah, that's good. That's why we do it, man. Grow the game, grow the companies, make everybody better. And you see the Confederates backing off. It's a little late to be backing off that far. 125 in the match, and the Union... Really trying to show some dominance here at the end. Hog moving around to the right. Hog wanting on the side. You hear him. There's only one minute. If they make a frontal assault, he wants to be on their flank. <laughs> 46 seconds and the confederates have not made a move all right here they go <clears throat> and let's see if hogs flank attack works we got the confederates coming from two different positions here one from the cornfield and they're going to come from the side as well hog in the eighth florida have a chance to come in looking like the heroes here if they can get across and stop the Alabama. And you see him moving. Harris going straight in at 22 seconds, but Florida's coming in on the flank. And here we go. We're with the 8th Florida. You hear the hissing. Two seconds left. One, and we got overtime. They've got to wipe these Confederates off the field, and if they don't do it, they stand a chance of losing. <clears throat> it all comes down to this. And there are a lot of Alabama here. Among others, the Confederates looking pretty good. Union's got to get back from spawn. They're doing it. Frank still alive. Emptied the pistol. He'll do it with a sword. Let's go with him. Oh, shot dead. But avenged, and the Union has done it. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. A determined Confederate attack at the last minute, but the Union has held on to the position, and that's going to be the match. Wow, congratulations to the Union Army. For an impressive victory here. 
Well, I thought it was over. That blueberry is awful big. Oh, man, the Confederates are still trying to get back. Look at them. Clock's going to have to burn out before they can get here, and I think it will. And the boys know it. It's over. And that's it. They did it. Look at this shit. That was crazy. Those shots were cool. All right, well, uh, I'll stop talking so we can listen. Seeing a possible advantage, Colonel Cook had his men rise up from behind the fence line they had been sheltering at and advanced into the open towards the Muma farm with the expectation that the other regiments positioned in the West Woods would push with them. Instead, the two regiments went forward alone to face the entire Union 6th Corps. However, they managed to surprise and capture a large number of Yankees in their wild onrush as the other Union regiments fell back past the orchard behind the smoldering Muma farmhouse. This meant the Union regiments near the sunken lane were then in danger of being flanked from behind. Well, a great Union victory there. As these events occurred, more fighting also occurred farther south, as General Burnside attempted to consolidate his position on the other side of the Antietam Creek. The Ninth Corps were forced to clamber up the steep hillside that had been pockmarked with various foxholes and fighting pits before reaching the summit, where the Otto and Sherrick farms stood. There, the Federals skirmished with a patchwork of small rebel regiments that attempted to hold back this latest threat, one that could possibly cut the entire army off from their only avenue of escape. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the match. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing. We do this every Saturday on Twitch. I'm thinking about doing other games as well. We're growing the channel. I appreciate it, each and every one of you. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>